what is the difference between APQP and PPAP? Hey there, I'm Arun Sharma. I'm founder of Submastery. Submastery is helping working professionals in getting ahead in life and career through online courses, certification and membership. So if you see like uh, this particular question wherein what's the difference between APQP and PPAP? So if you see APQP and PPAP both are like published by AIAG which is Automotive Industry Action Group and they have published this handbook APQP and PPAP. So as of now when we are recording this APQP has second edition and PPAP has fourth edition. So if you see like APQP uh, Advanced Product Quality Planning main focus is that things should be as per the timeline things should follow the timeline and uh, the product planning should adhere to the customer planning right that's a major focus area and it's also warned that the product which is produced it should meet the customer specific requirement and it should follow a structured approach uh, starting from the planning phase up to the feedback so if you see apqp advanced product quality planning has bigger umbrella and there are five phases in APQP which is plan and define phase one phase two is your product design and, and development phase three is process design and development phase four product and process validation phase, f- phase five feedback assessment and corrective action so if you see APQP follow these five phases and if you talk about PPAP which is production portable process which is basically a fourth phase of APQP the major focus of PPAP is to make sure that whatever the material which you are producing or the product you are making it should adhere to the customer specific requirements and there should not be any defects at the latest stage and you also want to be make sure that you meet the customer run rate that means customer uh, you also want to test your capacity and want to see that what defects can arise uh, in your production when you are doing smaller number of production when you are doing like smaller number of samples so the PPAP production part of our process major focus is to make sure that whatever the product you are producing it should meet the customer requirements and the defect should not happen at the later stage and you want to uh, make sure that the production capacity is up to mark and you also want to make sure that you will be meeting the required run rate at which the customer requires the product that's the major intention so what's the difference between APQP and PPAP so if you see APQP has a bigger umbrella PPAP basically is a part of APQP it comes in phase number four the major focus of APQP is to make sure that things are as per plan and you meet the customers basically planning or customer uh, you follow the schedule and the major focus is the adherence of the customer making sure that you adhere to the customer schedule and also it's a bigger umbrella wherein you basically start from the scratch from the plan and define and up to the feedback stage it goes until that wherever the whereas the ppap focus on the is a fourth stage a part of the apqp you can say but the major focus of ppap is to make sure that product what you are producing uh, should be defect free when you go for mass production and you also want to test the capacity and want to know that if you're limiting the required run rate so that's the major focus area for ppap i hope you like this if you are loving this do share this like this and share this with your friends so that other people can also get more knowledge if you want more detail visit www.submaster.com submastery.com and i'll see you in the next episode thank you